SIDT began May 6, 1982. So 30 years next year. The idea was seeing people improve their own quality of life using their own resources and what they are capable of doing themselves. The base of operations had to be in the village. And so SIDT created teams to do this from the area. The work that SIDT is doing can't be done by a foreign organisation because it's happening at that level and that it's happening. The education is going from Solomon Islander to Solomon Islander. The theatre group, as I said, are a wonderful group and they are showing that they have a unique skill and they can take the message from the practitioners and the policy makers through to the people. You see the, the drama group go into the villages um, and there's a lot of excitement, there's always a feast or whatever and you, you can't help but wonder, is this going to last? Is it just an event for someone, you know, for a village to have a bit of fun? Um, what I saw when I was there was that it lasts. You know, um, SIDT were able to engage the interest and educate the villagers at the right level. They'll come from miles to see a theatre group put on performance and it's a wonderful way to educate. You know, we've seen it with election awareness, we've seen it with HIV AIDS, we've, you know, we've seen it with uh, eat and grow vegetables, we've seen it with TB. It's a wonderful way to educate. Hey, true, but if you got HIV, then then you got him TB. HIV will not kill you. So that afterwards we would have um, village committees coming into the SIDT office to follow up and to start doing stuff on their own. Um, and I think that's what SIDT do really, really well, is they don't just come in do something and leave, they, these relationships will go on for years. Anglo Disola Theatre Program Lo SIDT is for go down the community and building up capacity for other people, lo site lo information, lo issues where I'm affecting life lo kata. Because lo country, people lo village are often educated people and so we follow putting information inside lo drama form where he fit him over there for present him so that others understand him and also him empower him over there for other celebrities and make him decisions whereby he is able to help him over there life over there with the issues that are facing all life. Building capacity of young people to involve in such work as drama is very important because they, they, they themselves uh, will be uh, as a tool within this uh, drama to disseminate information so that other people in the villages, their fellow people who do not know how to read and write, could be helped by those informations uh, they are sharing. With the prevention work that SID is doing and with the strengths that they have got in terms of uh, com uh, making communities aware with the theatre groups and also engaging with the community, um, I'm, I'm confident I think they, they, they will have an in impact on that in what contribution SIDT and making so. At SIDT, especially when, we, when the drama group started really building up and, and gaining momentum, they're all young people um, with a couple of oldies, but they're mostly under 30. We were able to bring in a lot of trainees and younger staff. When I went back 12 months afterwards, I walked in and it's there's a whole lot of young people and they're excited and they're confident and they're changing their world. And I think that SIDT has done that and is probably a bit of a shining example um, for how you can harness that energy of the young ones 
to make the future a better place. We look at SRDT over many, many, many years. If it wasn't working, it wouldn't continue. I saw what a small group of people can achieve with nothing. You know, no shoes, no electricity, no water. Um, just by not giving up and, and by realising that there is no other choice. I see that some of the things that we were talking about is been carried out through this advocacy training that SRDT is doing. Which to me, it's a follow-up of what we started. Tani, 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 tani.